Welcome to another Working Out with Aaron Briggs video. Aaron, what's up for today? Yeah, today we've got what's called a, a flow, and this is where we we build some exercises one on top of the other. I, I like these. These are these are kind of fun. So, like we do with every one of our workout videos and every one of our workout sessions, we always begin by warming up with the movements that we're going to do during the actual workout itself. So again, it's the best way to get warmed up. You get prepped for all the movements. If you'd like to join us, we're doing squats right now. So go ahead and get into your most comfortable squat form and just kind of get moving here. Exercise number two is gonna be a curl. And again, we're gonna string these together in, in kind of a fun way for you. You don't need anything right now. If you, if you have a small pair of dumbbells or kettlebells or a band and you wanna be working with it, that's fine. But again, we're really just getting a feel for the movements. So again, this bicep curl is our second movement. Our third movement is a deadlift. So again, like you're bending down to the ground and mm -hmm. picking something up again. It's really simple. Doesn't always mean that it's easy, but it's a simple movement. Down and then up. And again, you don't need a bunch of weight here or any weight at all. That's it, it for the workout as well as for the, or sorry, for the warm up as well as for the workout itself. Yep. So again, you always have the option to do body weight and uh, to just kind of make it feel, make it feel good for you, right? You always, you always have the ability to work with whatever you've got. And then our fourth and final movement is going to be a push up. And just a little warning for you, the way things stack up today, you're going to do the fewest push-ups out of uh, any of the other movements, right? Mm -hmm. Lots of squats today, handful of curls and deadlifts, and really just a, a few push-ups at the very end of the flow. So again, uh, <laughs> what you're doing for your warm-up will probably exceed what you do during the actual <laughs> workout here. Uh, so again, take your time and, and get comfortable with it here, okay? And then um, just to kind of give you a roadmap for how this is gonna go, we're resting here for a little bit, getting ready. So again, some, some uh, guidelines. If you need to pause the video at any time, right now, to kind of prep for whatever you've got going on, that's fine. If you need to pause the video, if we're moving too fast for you, go ahead and again, do what you need to do. That's the beauty of having this as a video and as mm -hmm. YouTube. And for our people that love to know the roadmap, the way a flow works is that you're gonna do one move at a time and you're gonna join more. We're gonna start in two, one, and now the idea is just squats. You're gonna do this for a minute, and when the next minute rolls around, you're gonna continue to do a squat, but then you're gonna add that second movement, which in this case happens to be a bicep curl. And then we'll talk about what's coming up beyond that. Mm -hmm. But again, total workout time today is gonna be about five minutes. That includes a little bit of a stretch period. And yeah, you're already a good good set into this. Yeah, Just... and you'll see, I was gonna mention Aaron that um, you'll see that Aaron has a kettlebell and I don't have any weight at all. And that's um, intentional so that we can show you that you can get uh, as much out of this workout as you want, um, even if you don't have any weights at home. So you can do this without any weight or with a kettlebell or you could do a weighted backpack or a bungee as well. Yeah, um, great, great An exercise point. band. We talk about that in our videos all the time, right? All the options that you got. We Again, whatever you've got at home, use. You've yep. got about five more seconds here and then we're gonna go ahead and add that curl to one. And now the idea is do a squat and then take that weight and curl it up. Mm -hmm. Just like you warmed up with. And then you squat again and curl. Yeah, and if you'll notice, both Aaron and I kind of changed our form a little bit. Um, well, actually, Aaron, your form for the squat is almost the same, but you changed the way you're holding your kettlebell. Exactly. And I changed to having my arms kind of down low during the squat so that when I come up, I'm kind of getting that full range of motion for that curl. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. And we, we always like to say you can use whatever you have. Again, we've, if yep. it's a backpack at home, if it's a, a water bottle, if it's a band, um, we try to pick movements that you can do with, with whatever you have. Again, yep. really, they're, they're general movements, but they have a specific focus, right? Mm -hmm. They're, they're going to help you out with these key movements. And you've got about 10 more seconds here. And the, the guideline that we always say is you need to look and feel good. That's your yeah, highest priority. Exactly. So that means change whatever you need to. Change mm -hmm. your form. Change it up a little bit. Okay? Three two, one, now you're gonna add that deadlift. So again, you're still doing a squat, still doing a curl, and then you follow it up with that deadlift. So again, if you're watching me squat, there's my curl, I lower my weight, and then I lower it to the ground, and then come back up again. Yep. And a lot of people will ask, what's the difference between a squat and a deadlift? Right. And I always think that they're very, very similar. They're, they're almost two sides of the same coin. You're still getting down to the ground and standing back up again. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing a squat, you usually have a little more knee bend or a lot more knee bend. When you're doing a deadlift, you're bending at your hip. 
And uh, one of the, the easiest things I'll say is with the deadlift, I always think about just sticking my rear out. I'm trying to touch whatever wall is behind me. Yeah. Maybe with my head, I'm trying to touch the forward wall, but really it's those hips moving backwards mm-hmm. that, that kind of makes that deadlift what it is. So again, you move as best as you can. We know that everyone moves their own best way. You're an yep. individual. You do what makes sense for you. If it looks a little more like a squat, it looks a little more like a squat. It's right. still working. Three, two, one. Now go ahead and add that push up. This is your last move and your last working minute here before we get into your little uh, your little cool down minute. So again, keep rocking it. Add that push up. Yeah, and along with that, um, the way that Aaron was talking about the difference between a squat and a deadlift, you'll see that both Aaron and I have very different form. And um, I'm a little more flexible in my hamstrings, and so my deadlift doesn't look, I don't have as bent knees as he does. And that's part of the reason we are both in these videos as well. So we can show that you can do these exercises and movements and look pretty different from each other, even if you're doing the same movement. Um, It really is about that looking and feeling good, making sure you're not hurting yourself, making sure you're kind of holding everything tight so that um, you're standing tall, standing proud, and, um, you know, like we said, getting the most of these movements uh, without hurting, hurting yourself. Four, three, Two, one, we're gonna get into our rest phase. Great, that's a way to, way to put that, Max. That's really a, kind of a wise wise outlook there, you know, how you do that, so I appreciate that. Okay, for your for your recovery minute, you're gonna, we're, we are going to do our down dog reps and eventually get into a child's pose. And for most of our workout videos, you're gonna see this as our go-to stretch. This is something that we feel like just, oh, just stretches us right back out. It kind of gets all the stuff that's been tight and feeling good again. And again, we're not um, traditional yoga people. I like to say that we do we do bad yoga, right? <laughs> we just kind of do the moves the way we think they're supposed to be done, but we have not been formally trained in and yoga. We don't need to. It's it's. I mean, at this point, we're not teaching yoga. And that, that's beside the point. But the goal here is that you're allowed to do bad movement because you're making it better, right? Yeah. And that's that's the goal here. So don't worry too much about if you look perfect. Focus on how you look and how you feel. And mm-hmm. if it feels good for you, you know you're in the right space. Yeah, and we finished out with child's pose there just to kind of give ourselves a minute to breathe and get ready for whatever's next in our day, (laughs) whether it's more movement, more exercises, or if it's just kind of being done and uh, moving on to what we're going to do next. Well, that's all we have for you for this movement. We uh, would love for you guys to join us for any of our other videos. We've got Lots of different types and different lengths. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. We hope you guys had fun. Make it a great day.